Well, this is Nocton Hall, which is located just outside of Lincoln. And this is the building they used for Eelmarsh House in The Woman in Black 2. Now this place is not actually that far from where I live so I uh, couldn't resist popping over and having a crafty look round after seeing this in the film. Now well, I should point out this is not the same building that they used for the first movie. Um, I believe for part one they used Cotterstock Hall which is in uh, Northampton I think but uh, when it came to filming the sequel uh, that location wasn't available so they decided to shoot here in Nocton instead. The two buildings do actually look quite different when you compare them side by side but I'm pretty sure no one actually noticed. Now the hall was first built sometime around the mid 1500s I think it was but unfortunately whilst the hall was empty sometime in 2004 some arsonists decided to set light to the building and that's why it's in the pretty sorry state of repair that we see it in today. So whereas in the first building they had to do a lot of set dressing and heavy CGI work to uh, make that place look a bit more dilapidated. In this case, they had to do a lot of set dressing and CGI work to make it look a bit more habitable. Only the exteriors were filmed here. All the interiors were filmed on a set at Pinewood Studios because uh, there was no way they were going to be doing any shots inside this old shell of a building. Well, this is the back of the building, and as you can see, a lot of heavy CGI work had to be done to make it look like how it appeared in the film. The windswept tree in the old fountain and the dilapidated ornamental garden, that was just set dressing edit by the filmmakers, it wasn't originally part of the garden. Now, um, as you know, Eelmarsh House was supposed to be set on an island somewhere, however in reality we're about eight miles south of Lincoln, so what they did was, for the scene where they were stood at the back looking out to sea, they had to first film the car stood here at the back of a building here, then they filmed them at O.C. Island in Essex, looking out over the marshes, and then when they combined the two shots together, made it look like the two locations were one and the same, where in fact they were two completely separate places, about 150 miles apart. In fact, if you look round here, that's what you will see, all overgrown trees. Right, well, I don't know if you can see these... Uh buildings in the background here. Now they weren't actually used in the film but they're actually the remains of an old RAF hospital. Uh, basically what happened was Nocton Hall was purchased by the RAF just after World War II and they built this uh, rather large hospital complex in the grounds behind it. Now um, the hall itself I believe was used as an admin block during this period but uh, the hospital was open from I think about 1945 through till 1993 when it was finally closed due to defence cuts and it's been uh, stood empty and derelict ever since. You won't find a woman in black in there, but when the hospital was open, there were stories about a grey lady that used to wander in and out of the children's wards at night, so make of that what you will. After the RAF disposed of the site sometime in the mid-90s, uh, the hall here was turned into an old folks home briefly, but this closed down after only a few years. Then again, as I said earlier, uh, sometime in 2004 it was empty, some idiots burned it down. Now I believe the hall and the old hospital buildings behind it are owned by a property development firm. The hall is Grade 2 listed building, I don't know if that's going to be rebuilt or flattened or what's happening to it, but I do know that the old hospital buildings behind are marked for de demolition and they're looking at building a housing estate there, but uh, nothing's happened yet. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed my little video. I'm going to head off now because uh, this is technically private property. I'm not sure I should actually be here, so if I'm not careful, I might be getting a visit from the boys in blue, never mind a woman in black. So, thank you very much for watching.